Okay, in this video, I'm going to be cleaning an old brass bowl. Pretty big bowl, but a bowl. Now, do not clean like this on your fine brass. This is a rough clean, just for the simple purpose of showing something that's really filthy being cleaned back up. But it is no way, shape, or form the final product. This is just to show whether this will be clean. Now, I could already wet this with something or whatever, but I didn't. I'm just going to squirt the stuff on here and go with it in one little area. Okay. Now, a better way to do this would have been to have done one little area at a time, get it all polished up, and then move on with such a large project. But again, this is a rough clean. Thank you. All right, let me sit this over here. Now, I'm just going to keep on going at that rate. I'm squirting it all over it. The way it wants you to do is put it on the rag, but I'm just going all over it. Now, you notice I've got gloves on. They're clear gloves, but they're gloves. This stuff can irritate you. You do not want to get it in your eyes to wear eye protection. I'm doing this outside in a highly ventilated area. I mean, obviously it's outside. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna let that sit there for a little while. That's not the proper way to do it, it's the way I'm doing it. All right, now I should just rinse that off and uh, go from there. If it needed a second coat, put that second coat on it. And that's what you wanna do with your, your fine uh, brass and stuff, but I'm not doing that. I'm breaking the rules. I got one of these little scrub pads like you would use in the kitchen. And see this can scratch it up. That's why you want to be careful with using something like this. And I'm letting it chew a little bit on it because this is an old pot. So it's not the end of the world. And you see this thing used to hold candy. This was our candy dish where they mixed up candy. Anyway, I'm using this to scrub a little deeper. Now see what see what we're getting here? getting a better shine because when I'm done I'm gonna come back out with a polishing wheel anyway and the things that I just scratched all the pieces anyway because they used it for like I say cooking so it's not like I'm worried about messing up a smooth surface so now this is the basic way you'd want to drill like I say with a big polishing wheel on it and you could do this in no time but for the sake of a video because most people's not gonna have that I'm doing it without that. I see this bad spot right here. Look right off with this. Now, let's put this in here. What is that I put in there? Water, really. Again, I'm outside in the uh, open air, so 
you know, less likely something would happen anyway. Because, you know, let's say there was a chemical reaction, which you don't want to push your luck, but I'm just making an argument here. Since I'm outside, if I was to pass out from breathing this or something, more than likely I'd fall over to the ground and, you know, everything would be fine, I'd wake back up. Of course, I wouldn't want to test that, but I'm just saying. But, if you're in a house or something, or a building, then fumes can keep building up. Now, I could pass that out here and fall into the bowl and die anyway. Again, I'm just saying this stuff so you'll know you have to be very, very careful. We've got a spot here on the side. I hope that's not a hole. That could have been the reason that we stopped using it in the first place. Now part of me wants to just shine this thing up like brand new because I'm that way. The other part's like, hey, don't do that, do it long. Don't go crazy with it. I'm just that way. I've always been that way. I like to see just how clean sun can get, you know. I mirror the track still has a lot on it. this thing be back with you and there it is now it's not fully cleaned it still needs to be you know shined and polished and all that kind of stuff but that's got the heavy stuff off so now I'll have to you know put some polishing grit on it or something to get the bigger stuff out the scratches and then uh do a final polishing after that.